Hi, I'm uh, Steve Damahitty from Niner Bikes, and I'm here to tell you about the uh, WFO9. It's our new all-mountain 29-inch wheel bike. Uh, the WFO is 5.5 inches of rear suspension travel, which is the longest current uh, production suspension travel 29er on the market. Uh, we're also the first uh, 29er to be Hammerschmidt compatible with our uh, with our bike, and that's a pretty important feature. Uh, some other bikes aren't, aren't working so well with the Hammerschmidt uh, system, which is an internal two-speed system that SRAM is making, but the WFO is completely compatible both with the gear size and uh, with the compatibility of mounting it to the bike, so it's a pretty important feature. One of the uh, one of the main cool features about the Hammerschmidt is that this is actually a two-speed internal uh, shifting system. So it, it actually starts with a 22 tooth uh, chain ring and then internally shifts into a 34 or 36, depending on how you have it set up. Um, one of the problems, the inherent problems with it is that since it's a small chain ring, some suspension designs are not designed to work very well around a small chain ring. One of the major benefits of our CBA suspension design is that it is designed to work really well in all three chain ring sizes and that's a key feature of constantly varying arc suspension or CBA suspension. Um, because of that, the Hammerschmidt is perfectly compatible with the WFO9. Uh, one of the other major things that we had to do to make it Hammerschmidt compatible, uh, because our link is on the underside of the bottom bracket, um, we had to make room for the ISCG tabs to mount the Hammerschmidt System 2. We also had to make room for the shifting mechanism that uh, happens underneath the uh, Hammerschmidt System. So this uh, linkage, if you can see, had to be offset um, as it came into the bottom bracket pivot in order to make room and accommodate the shifting mechanism and the ISCG tabs for the Hammerschmidt system. Uh, it was really important for us to make sure that this bike was Hammerschmidt compatible. We really feel like it's a, it's a really good match for a bike with this much travel to have the, uh, the internal shifting system of the Hammerschmidt. So we, we really, out of the gate, were very concerned and wanted to make sure that this bike was ISCG compatible. If you don't want to run Hammerschmidt, we also have a uh, bolt-on derailleur system that Shimano offers, which is another important feature, um, is this bolt-on system right here. It's a direct mount Shimano derailleur that we actually co-developed with them um, for fit uh, on a 29-inch wheel bike. There's a lot of challenges with fitting a front derailleur on a long travel 29-inch bike and keeping the chain stays short. So uh, we actually worked with Shimano on this plate mount system so that we can uh, uh, angle the derailleur however we want to angle it and not have to worry about the tube angle that the uh, derailleur would normally mount to. Um, if we actually mounted a, a, a clamp uh, front derailleur onto the seat tube it would be so kicked up that it wouldn't shift right and, and wouldn't really function properly. So this mount allows us to uh, change the angle without, with a, with, without regard to the angle, the actual angle of the seat tube. We've been in development with uh, the WFO for kind of since we started CBA suspension travel. When we uh, went into development for CBA, it's a proprietary suspension system, two Niner bikes, and we designed it first as a long travel bike. We've had a six inch travel prototype 29er bike since almost since the company started. Like a year after we uh, began as Niner bikes, we had already started prototyping six inches of travel suspension bike, which was four years ago, three years ago really, we had uh, we had started prototyping this design. Um, this, the WFO has gone through a lot of refinements over the years and we've learned a lot about uh, 29ers, about uh, energy, about uh, stiffness, about all that stuff. So on this particular bike we have a lot of hydroform tubes that offer increased stiffness and strength. Uh, we have a lot of forged components that decrease the weight while also increasing stiffness and strength. So we've really done everything we can on this bike to make it as stiff and strong as possible while maintaining as light a weight as we can. Um, so all of those elements combined make a really, really stiff frame that really accelerates and climbs really well, but also uh, has the strength to uh, encounter the obstacles and terrain that a bike like this would need to encounter. The WFO is really kind of a, uh, a long travel, kind of big hit bike. It's only five and a half inches of travel, but on a 29 inch wheel bike, that's similar to a seven inch travel, 26 inch bike. Um, it, would, it would compete very well with the Enduro or the, the Blur LT or even the Nomad and Bullet, actually. Um, I uh, tested this bike in Colorado all last year at Keystone doing downhill runs. Um, it's, it's very durable, it's very strong, and five and a half inches of travel on a 29 inch wheel bike is a lot of travel. It, it kind of feels bottomless. Um, 
It's really, really active under under braking, under pedaling, and completely neutral under all of those things. So the rear suspension is not activated by chain torque. Uh, there is no pedal kickback on the suspension design. It's fully active while you're hammering on the pedals, while you're coasting, or while you're braking. So those are all really important design features of CBA.